I'm jealous of Anthony over there with that champagne. See, I'm on pro. Yeah, that's I'm my sure. class. Why don't you have a beef. champagne glass though? What, what is that? It it is technically a champagne glass. It's a very long, thin flute. Uh, oh, I don't man. like the stem on there with the classic champagne. A dainty. They fall over and shit. It's a little dainty, but a little manly. I don't know. I, don't just, I would be happy about that. I've got, <laughs> no, no. He would definitely call me the F word and say I had pissy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got what, what a mean spirited thing for a father to say. Shut pissy up, eyes. Pissy eyes. <laughs> pissy Jesus. Eyes. I've got two years of probation, so I can't drink. And, uh, and, oh. and I, I would have oh. done an, I would have done another two months if I could have traded it for a year of probation. Yeah, that seems unfair. Wow. Like alcohol really? is legal. You should be able to have some beers or have, or you don't like beer. You like mm -hmm. vodka, but whatever you want. Tequila. Well, when you uh, have a drug no, you like abuser, Dos Equis. Yeah. Keep I like Dos Equis with some drugs. lime. I like a good red wine. If it's not I had to do dry. that. Re I had to do that rehab stint. Um, after mm. I had my legal wranglings, uh, they they were like, it looks better if you just go to rehab. So I went down to Florida. It was recommended by the great Artie Lang. So you know it worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I, I went down there and I couldn't drink for, you know, it was 30 days. And 30 days you go into meetings every day and classes and the rehab and everything. And it was it was fine. I was I was okay with it. Like you said, it was a great experience. Like I didn't want to go, but it was. I met some amazing characters, these weird people I never would have met before. And uh, the but the second I got to the airport, uh, I cracked a beer open and just started. I knew it was. <laughs> were not there gonna... were there people in the rehab with you that made you think like, huh, I've pretty much got this under control. Like, oh, like everybody, like, I, like I, I wake up in the morning shaking and I have to have a pint of vodka before it, noon. And you're like, <laughs> life's looking pretty good. Like, I don't find the, the biggest problem. Even the counselor there was was pretty much talking about drinking and saying, ah, he goes, I think you have more of a problem with Twitter than you do with alcohol. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Twitter. If you go down the, the 12 steps, like, yes, I have to realize I have a problem with Twitter. And uh, yeah, did you get anything that. from it? Like, I, we're, we're goofing about it, and you took out a beer. I, 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 I got a couple of things from it. Yeah, yeah, more, more like life things, like uh, the whole, you know, don't take anything for granted, really, and and um, uh, don't. I kind of one thing. It sounds so hokey, but it's like uh, it, live your days instead of counting them, kind of a thing. You know, you don't want to want to just sit there and check off days on a calendar. And like, oh, we're through that one. Like, make something of of every day that you're. No, you're right. That does sound gay. So I got that <laughs> out of it. But as far as the drinking thing went, I was like, fuck off. I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> you get to the airport, crack you, open like, a nice Bud Light. Yeah, yeah. I had to do substance abuse counseling before I went to prison, and I was so thankful that the the lady, the the psychiatrist or whatever, she, I was, I, I, I was like, uh, yeah, I would, you know, smoke weed. Like every day, but not all day, you know. I just like smoking joints and getting high. And she's like, "Well, it is a good time." <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "So you did? So you weren't selling marijuana?" I'm like, no. Why would I Mr. Myers, my I'm going to level thing? with you. I'm a little blitzed right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the end of that counseling session, she was making some definite suggestions that I come hang out at her house. Oh. There was, oh. I had the best psychiatrist ever. She was more super rape, understanding. More rape threats. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think so, she would uh, be involved in some kind of a three-way with her and her husband is what it sounded like to me. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> 